This is the third video in our new series on creativity for those with anxiety and ADHD. In particular, we're discussing what you can do to literally flip the switch on your tendencies and use them to your advantage as a sufferer of anxiety or ADHD. PanicAttackRecovery.com Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com. We're a collaboration of former sufferers helping people with panic attacks, stress, anxiety, depression, and ADHD. As mentioned, we believe there are tendencies and characteristics shared between anxiety and ADHD sufferers that, if harnessed properly, could work to their advantage. Such creativity can arise through our sensitivity, emotions, thoughts, and inclinations when we pay attention to them. By using our ideas for something productive, we can get a sense of satisfaction. Reframing anxiety in a creative way can help us experience relief. Today, we'll discuss using something Dr. Carl Jung called the shadow. Another word used to refer to this concept is the unconscious. The shadow consists of those aspects of yourself that you repress. For example, let's say that you dislike sarcastic people and you sometimes react to others who possess those same characteristics. According to Dr. Young, this is because you have aspects of yourself that are sarcastic that you've repressed. The recommended way to address this matter is to allow this repressed aspect of yourself to be. Don't try to fight it as yourself. Is there a sarcastic aspect of myself I'm repressing? By learning more about aspects of yourself that you're repressing, you can feel better. Interestingly, the shadow does not consist of only negative aspects of yourself. Some are positive. Additionally, the shadow can bring you creative ideas. Another way you can connect with the shadow is through your dreams. By paying attention to your dreams and those matters that upset you, it becomes possible to get little glimpses of information from your unconscious. Here are a couple of suggestions to get you started, but there are many ways you can start to use the shadow to stimulate your creativity. Consider using a dream journal to track your dreams. There might be interesting aspects of your dream that you can weave into a story if you're trying to write a story or working on any type of creativity writing. But you needn't worry if you're not working on what you consider a creative endeavor. This process can provide useful information that can guide you in regular daily life as well. Try simply paying attention to the themes in your dreams. Perhaps lately you seem to be rushed or angry in your dreams. Ask yourself if there's a message you can get from this. For example, do I need to find time to de-stress during the day? Are there particular reasons I might be angry? Often, if you pay attention to such things, you can realize little ways to improve your life. When we ask ourselves questions, the solutions can present easily at times. There are many great videos on the shadow, especially if you want to cover this information more deeply. But this video can be a great start for you. We realize these suggestions might seem different from our usual material, but we hope you'll give them a try. We look forward to presenting a new video in our creative series next week. To make sure that you don't miss out on any of our content, please click on the card on the upper right corner of this video and subscribe to our free newsletter.